Hi there, Faraz here from the product marketing team at MoEngage. Welcome to the video walkthrough of our new in-app drag and drop editor. The new in-app editor gives you the ease and flexibility to quickly create and publish your in-app campaigns, helping you really unleash your creativity and create engaging in-apps. So let's quickly dive in and see how the editor works. After you have set up the target users for your in-app campaign, you will see this screen here. Here you can view all the pre-built and saved in-app temp templates. And you can either use any of the pre-built templates, edit the same, or even build your own from scratch. Now to start, uh, now as part of this demo, we'll actually be building an in-app uh, campaign using the drag and drop editor, and we'll build this from scratch. To start, simply click on the start from scratch option here. And here you will basically be given the option to either choose the new in tap drag and drop editor or one of the other older editors. We we'll sort of flick into the drag and drop editor where this takes you to the editor where you can actually view the various content assets and preview your in app from here itself. Now, once I reach the editor, I can play around with the content, rows, and settings and create an in app as per my needs. This is extremely simple as I can simply just drag elements from here and drop it here. Now let's assume I am a marketer for us for an app which uh, showcases sports related content and I want to sort of run an in app campaign to my new users and understand their preference towards either cricket or football. And I would want to show this an in app and ask them to simply select one of the two options. And I'd like to make this a very visual in app. I can quickly add a title here and I can sort of, I want to show these aspects side by side. So I can add an equal row here. Now if, now if you see, I would like these to be stacked side by side. So in this case, I can quickly go ahead, select this and I'd like to stack on mobile set off and here these up here side by side. I want to sort of add two images here. That's where I can sort of quickly drag one image instead of the second image here. I would also like to add two buttons at the bottom, sort of giving them an option to select these. Uh, and I want to sort of upload an image, right? So one would be a uh, image of football to represent football. One would be to represent uh, cricket. I have already uploaded these images here, so I can sort of select and insert this. I can select the other image option and upload that here as well. I would sort of, I want to edit the copy, but I can go and, and ask can or post to print for um, something that I do not need and I can delete, delete it. Uh, now here this text is not visible. I'd like to sort of edit, make this little more visible. I would say also like to change the color here. Yes. So I can select the rows. I can go in and change the color. And then go in here, change the color for this. That there you go. Screen but now yeah, I've quickly created an in app to represent this. Now, while creating the in app, you would have noticed I changed the color, I added a row and changed the color of the background. Uh, now, as part of the editor, you will see two options your row background color and content area background color. Now, row background color basically adds color but stretches this color from uh, cross from end to end across the mobile screen, whereas content area background color uh, adds the background color within and contains it within the pop-up. Uh, in this case, if for such a pop-up, we would recommend using the content area background color. Uh, I can quickly go in and sort of change this here. I can mark this as transparent again and say I can change this to the blue that I had done before. As you see, this is contained within uh, the pop-up area. I can do that similarly for uh, other aspects here, right? Uh, I can select the row. In this case, I've already added content area background color and changed this from trans, uh, changed the row background color. 
and hence it's within the uh, area pop-up. Uh, I can also sort of choose to edit various aspects of this. I can sort of change the button color as you can see here by just selecting it, uh, going to the background color of that particular content block and changing that. Uh, to change the style, I can also select this and select the font and change the font settings. I can change the font weight as well as font size. Uh, as you can see, it's a very simple, easy to use editor uh, that you can use by simply dragging and dropping aspects and seamlessly editing them. Now to add close button and to give the user that ability to sort of continue his journey and close this in app to maintain that user experience, I can I use uh, a mix of content, rows and add an image and mark that as a button. Now let's see how I can I can do that. Uh, I would like to add the cross right at the top so I can sort of drag a row to the top. I can add a content block as an image and here I can upload an X image and mark that as a button. Now let me see how I could do that. I've already taken the liberty of uploading an X image uh, here so I can sort of choose that. Uh, as you can see, there's an X image which comes here. I can align that to the right or left as I prefer. In this case, I'm aligning it to the right. Uh, and as you see, I, it's, it appears right at the top here. I would like to add an attribute here. I right? sort of navigate to the bottom. Click on add new attribute, add starts. And this is where I sort of mentioned this as close button, correct? Uh, now, I would also like to track events here, as in in terms of which users track events in terms of button clicks. Uh, I have forgotten to change the name of this button so I can sort of quickly go ahead and change the text here. I could sort of also make this bold if I need to. I can make this bold as well. Uh, now, I would like to mark track this as an event. I can select this. Again, navigate to the editor, add this as a new attribute, a search attribute as track event, and say this is track event as put it all click. And I can do the same for cricket. I can select that, put add new attribute, search attribute as track event, and click. So click. Uh, and there you have it. That's my in-app created here using the no-code drag and drop editor. I can toggle the, my template settings here by choosing to showcase this in the in a portrait mode, landscape mode, or both. I can toggle and configure this to show up on different devices. I can also to toggle to show this on both Android or both iOS as a mirror, as in the same in-app. Or I may choose to create a separate version for my iOS. Uh, custom website. Right? Uh, as a final step, I may choose to preview this by actually uh, showcasing this to myself for a set of smaller customers and I can go ahead and publish my campaign. Um, there you have it. That's a simple, easy to use drag and drop in-app editor. Oh.